Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS provides guidance on recapturing excess employment tax credits. IR 2020-169, July 27, 2020, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today issued temporary regulations. There's a link to those temporary regulations here and proposed regulations. Also a link to the proposed regulations to reconcile advanced payments and refundable employment tax credits and recapture the benefit of these credits when necessary. The regulations authorize the assessment of erroneous refunds of the credits and paid under both the Families First Corona uh, Response Act, Families First Act, and Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Securities Act, the CARES Act. The Families First uh, Act generally requires employers with fewer than 500 employees to provide paid sick leave for up to 80 hours and family leave for up to 10 weeks if the employee is unable to work or telework due to COVID-19 related reasons. Eligible employers are entitled to fully refundable tax credits to cover the cost of the leave required to be paid. The CARES Act provides an additional credit for employers experiencing economic hardship due to COVID-19. Eligible employers who pay qualified wages to their employees are entitled to an employee retention credit. The IRS has uh, revised or is in the process of revising Form 941 and Form 943, Form 944, and Form CT1. So these are the payroll. The payroll tax forms that will have to be adjusted in order to facilitate this process and accommodate the laws here. So, so the uh, employers may use these returns to claim the paid sick and family leave employee retention credits. So you're going to be using this in the process of claiming those credits. Employers may also receive advance payment of the credit up to the total allow, uh, allowable amounts. The IRS has created Form 7200 advance payment of employer credits due to COVID-19. There's a link to that here, which employers may use to request an advance of the credits. So that's going to be something if, if you're going to use for an advance of the credit, I believe. So the general idea is that you'd have these credits and you'd be able to take these credits in advance by, by not paying the, the uh, payroll taxes that you would typically withhold. But if the, if the credit was over the amount that you would typically withhold, then you would, you would use this form for an advance payment of the employer uh, credits. Back to the text which employers may use to request an advance of the credits. Employers are required to reconcile any advance payments claimed on Form 7200 with total credits claimed and total taxes due on their employment tax returns. So then when you fill out the tax returns, the employment tax returns, the 941s and so forth, then you, sh you should be accounting for these credits and everything, and you sh everything should be basically washing out. You should be able to record all this on the 941s once they adjust the 941s and other payroll tax forms to accommodate the law here. So back to the text, any refund of these credits paid to the taxpayer that exceed the amount the taxpayer is allowed is an erroneous refund for which the IRS must seek repayment. So if you get a refund that was higher than the amount than should have, then the IRS is going to call that, of course, an erroneous uh, repayment and they will seek to get it back. So, so you want to make sure that if that takes place, then uh, you can expect to pay, you know, you can expect that you're going to need to pay it back generally. So back to the text. For more information on the employer credit, see employer tax credits. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.